missed an episode of your favorite podcast, choose from over a decade of content in our archives. Not just the latest episode. All free at GCNlive.com. What is up? Greetings, friends. Welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 26 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and high blood pressure and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's a renewing system, it is designed divinely to heal itself on a moment-to-moment basis, drug-free, doctor-free, insurance company-free, and while it may seem like a miracle to some folks, this renewing and healing system is really just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. We welcome your phone calls at 866-582-9933 on the bright side. That's 866-582-9933. Best to get on board early. The phone lines fill up pretty quick. 866-582-9933. If you have a success story you want to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, or if you have questions about the longevity products or ingredients in the longevity products, formulations, whatever, 866-582-9933. We're here to help you out. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear us talk about on the Bright Side, head over to brightsideben.com. Take a look at the shopping cart. Make sure you take a specially long look at my personal favorite longevity product, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder that you add to water and drink. It tastes great. It's a wonderful way to get your water-soluble nutrients and your fatty nutrients. If you have digestive issues, it's a great way to bypass digestive problems. It's around 50 bucks a canister, and if you're like most folks, you're going to notice results pretty darn quickly, usually in one or two doses. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and if you want to start a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, click the Join the Team link on the upper left hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com or you can also call uh, the folks at Brightside Ben at the Brightside Ben phone team 866-735-2470 and they can help you out too. All right, so I want to just finish up, actually for today and uh, also for tomorrow, we'll finish up talking about how we can improve serotonin production without resorting to poisoning our serotonin biochemistry, without taking psychotropic medication, SSRI, drugs, Prozac, Effexor, Cymbalta. I got a letter from a special forces operative who uh, had some injuries. He had a fusion done on his back. He suffered from some mechanical kinds of things on his leg and some nerve damage. He was given Cymbalta an SSRI drug for the pain. He asked, should I be taking Cymbalta knowing it's an SSRI and I have very little emotional problems? Listen, doctors do what doctors do. They dispense medicine. That's their job, to dispense medicine, and it's not their fault. That's how they're trained. It's up to us to make those decisions. If you're taking a drug that's being used for something that the drug is not supposed to be used for, that's probably a drug you don't want to take. Cymbalta, SSRI drugs are not pain-relieving medicines. If this guy was given an SSRI drug for pain, I don't know what the heck his doctors are thinking 
but it's not his doctor's fault. You've got to make these decisions for yourself. So for Matthew, our special forces operative, personally, I wouldn't be taking an SSRI drug or any drug that wasn't used for the indication, for its indication, especially a psychotropic meds that will uh, increase your risks of all the things we've been talking about for the last three or four weeks, uh, all the uh, serotonin problems that you're going to set yourself up for by using an SSRI type of drug. Even if you have depression or anxiety, you still still want to think hard about taking these things. And I know I've been ripping on SSRI drugs for the last couple of weeks, and I also understand that I'm not personally dealing with depression. And if you're depressed and SSRI drugs are offering some relief, some of you might be thinking well, that I'm being a little harsh. And I know I've gotten a couple of letters from folks who are thinking that I'm just being a little harsh on SSRI drugs. I'm not being fair to SSRI drugs or to people who are taking them. Listen, I'm not here making value judgments. I'm strictly giving you the chemistry. I'm not giving you my opinions. I'm giving you the chemistry on this stuff. If you think SSRI drugs are good medicine, or if you think SSRI drugs are nasty medicine, the point is SSRI drugs are handled by the body in the same way the body handles cyanide or heavy metals or arsenic or any other poison substance. They require the body's poison control system in the liver to kick in, the glutathione system. Phase 1 detoxification, phase 2 detoxification, these are all the ways the body handles poisons. We have poison management systems, poison control systems. And these poison control systems are a, a, an evolutionarily designed system for taking care of stuff that will kill us, toxins, poisons. And guess what? SSRI drugs are handled by this poison control system. SSRI drugs cost us nutrients. They're anti-nutrient. They cost nutrients, nutrients for processing, nutrients for detox. Detoxification. SSRI drugs require glutamine and selenium and sulfur and B vitamins and magnesium for detoxification. And all of these substances are going to be depleted when our poison clearing system is upregulated. This means SSRI drugs, whether you like them or whether you don't, whether you think they're good or whether you think they're not good, SSRI drugs cost us nutrition. And if you're already missing nutrients, as most folks are, especially if they're depressed, especially if they have anxiety issues, especially if they have mental health issues. And so if you're already missing nutrients, which you more than likely are, if you need an SSRI drug now, your nutritional deficiencies are going to be even more exaggerated. That means, ultimately, SSRI drugs and all drugs, this is so important, people. I'm telling you this as a registered pharmacist who's been studying medicine for 30 years. SSRI drugs and all drugs magnify, enhance, amplify the stress response. They suppress growth. They suppress repair. They're pro-aging. They lead to degenerative disease. They shorten your lifespan. Folks, this is all drugs, especially if you're an older person, especially if you're already sick. This is not a judgment. This is not an opinion. This is just biochemistry. And the very way these things work, the mechanisms of these drugs, the reason SSRI drugs work is a manifestation of their poison properties. SSRI drugs knock out poison, the serotonin reuptake system. That's why they're called inhibitors. If you're taking any drug that's an anti-drug, an anti-hypertensive, an antibiotic, an anti-arrhythmic, an inhibitor drug, an anti-inflammatory drug. This inhibitor mechanism, this anti-mechanism involves pharmacologically poisoning a system. It's as simple as that. SSRI drugs pharmacologically poison the serotonin system. They artificially manipulate the mechanisms for, for recycling and reusing serotonin. And on top of all of that, the jury is still out on whether depression even involves serotonin. If you're on an SSRI drug and you want to uh, try some alternatives to, uh, to boost your serotonin system or to wean yourself off of SSRI drugs, you have lots of options. We talked about eating more protein, especially tryptophan-containing protein, eggs, whey, and to a lesser extent, soy, if you can handle it. Number two, eat carbs, but be careful of grains. All carbs, including grain carbs, are going to boost serotonin production, but grains present tremendous, tremendous 
tremendous biochemical metabolic problems. This is where veggies are so, so important. Green carbs are going to boost your serotonin. Sugar itself is going to boost your serotonin. But if you try to use grains in this fashion to boost serotonin, you're going to be exposing yourself to a lot of anti-nutrients that are found in grain. These days, everybody's talking about gluten. I hear gluten-free this and gluten-free that and gluten-free pizza and gluten-free beer and everybody wants gluten-free brownies and gluten-free bread. Folks, grains are a mega problem food and it's not just the gluten. We'll continue this discussion when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Hi, Coast to Coast listeners. I'm Kay Zwirling from KSCO Radio in Santa Cruz. I'm 93 years old, and I'm a big fan of George Norrie because his topics and guests are fascinating and really get you thinking. George is just as bothered as I am by all the advertising you hear for toxic prescription drugs that make you sicker, not healthy. I prefer to give my body all 90 essential nutrients it needs for life to prevent disease, not compound it. My favorite complete supplement is Beyond Tangy Tangerine from Longevity, which I take every day along with EFA Plus and Beyond Osteo FX, which together are called the Healthy Start Pack. I recommend you go online to criticalhealthnews.com to purchase these products. That's criticalhealthnews.com or call 855-949-RADIO. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS, 1-800-425-4610, or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Wall & Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Wall & Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall & Associates, 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary, not a solicitation for legal services. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. 
Pacific and 10 to 11 Central, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. If you miss a program, you can head over to brightsideben.com and take a look at the archives. All the programs are up there, all two two years, almost two years plus, almost two years of uh, Brightside episode at brightsideben.com. You can also find a shopping cart with all the longevity products that you hear us talk about and a join the team link that you can click on if you want to start a longevity business. And join me in my mission to educate the world about the importance and the power of a good nutritional supplement program. Our number today, 866-582-9933. Got a couple lines open for you if you have questions about the longevity products, health, nutrition, prescription drugs. If you want to get off your meds, if you want a loved one, help a loved one get off of their meds, 866-582-9933 is your number. Okay, so you want to get off your SSRI drugs or you just want to boost your serotonin, Here's some strategies for you. Number one, eat more protein. Make sure it's tryptophan containing protein. One of the best things about whey protein is its tryptophan content. I know there's lots of proteins out there. Tryptof- uh, whey protein is probably the best protein you got going because of it's a building protein. It's a growth protein. It's an anabolic protein. It's designed by nature to build tissue. There's alternatives, but they tend to be less tryptophan dense. Tryptophan, by the way, is found in these building proteins like egg protein. Your two best proteins, whey protein, egg protein, uh, to a slightly lesser extent, uh, hemp seed protein and uh, sprout protein. There's lots of proteins out there. If you can do whey uh, and if you could do egg, that's your best bet. Soy protein also has a little bit of tryptophan in it as well. Secondly, make sure you're eating carbs, but be very careful with grain carbs. These days, everybody knows about gluten, but we, as we've said many times, as problematic as gluten is, there are lots more compounds in grains, which at the end of the day are not really foods that the human digestive tract is suppo- uh, designed to eat. This is why grains need to be processed. They need to be milled or they need to be chopped up because grains are seeds and seeds contain anti-nutrients. Seeds were not designed to be eaten. Seeds are supposed to go on the ground where they're in, uh, with water, where they're combined with water and soil and sun to make a plant. A plant doesn't want you eating seeds. There's very few nutritional strategies that are uh, more difficult than getting off grains. If you're having a hard time laying off the pasta, you may want to treat this as a serotonin issue. It may be that you're instinctively looking for this carbohydrate-induced boost in serotonin production. Carbs will stimulate the production of serotonin. Protein actually is what serotonin is made of. Carbs will turn on the production of serotonin. Remember, serotonin is a stress hormone and carbs and sugars are a stressor for the body. So increasing your carbohydrate intake but being careful of grains is a second strategy for boosting serotonin. Up your veggies, up your protein, and you're going to find that it's much easier to resist cereal and bread and pasta. Increase your veggies and increase your protein. Try this experiment. Go get some whey protein, or if you can't handle whey, go get some hemp seed protein. Do a huge amount, way bigger, way more than you would ordinarily do, just for experimental purposes. Maybe one and a half, two grams per pound of body weight. If you weigh 150 pounds, do seven or eight or even nine scoops of protein. That's a lot of protein, but do it just for an experiment. Put it in a smoothie, add some water, put some coconut oil and EFA in there. You always want to mix your fat with your protein. Do enough so that you feel really, really full. And you will feel full, folks, when you eat that much protein. Then try to eat some cereal or some bread. You're going to find it's difficult, if not impossible, to do. Protein will downregulate your drive for grains. Really, protein will downregulate your your drive for any high-carbohydrate, high-sugar food. Now, you're not going to be able to eat nine scoops of protein or drink nine scoops of protein in a smoothie on a regular basis, but back, once you find that point where you don't want any carbohydrates, just sort of back down on the amount of protein you, you do. Dude, this is kind of an experimental thing. Start off with nine scoops of protein, maybe eight scoops of protein, depending on how much you weigh. You drink it down. You're obviously, not obviously, but 
you're going to see that you're not going to be wanting the bread and the pasta. Then the next time, try seven scoops. See if that gives you that same kind of satisfying effect. It may, it may not. Say it does. Back down to six scoops. Back down to five scoops. Find that sweet spot of protein intake where you don't crave bread and you don't crave cereal any longer. There's going to be a place where you have enough protein that your sugar cravings and your bread cravings and your pasta cravings will become diminished. While it's true there's lots of good stuff in processed grains, I'm aware of the zinc, I know about the B vitamins, I know about the protein and the essential fats and the fiber, there's lots of good things in grain. But in my opinion, there are so many things wrong with grains, it's hard to know even to where, where to begin the list. Last program we talked about grain opiates, so-called ex-orphans, morphine-like compounds, opium-like compounds, heroin-like compounds that are in grains. They have a numbing effect, a sleepy time effect. There may be a connection between ex-orphans and grains. And by the way, dairy contains these ex-orphan substances as well. There may be a connection between these ex-orphans in dairy and grains and a lot of mental health issues. There's a lot of literature that indicates that autism and schizophrenia may be related to these kinds of compounds that are found in grains and in dairy. Professor Rob Dunn, writing in the book The Wild Life of Our Bodies, says that 75% of our calories come from pharmacological type foods like exorphan loaded, serotonin stimulated, intoxication inducing grains and dairy and sugar and booze. And of course, that doesn't leave a lot of room for protein and vegetables and essential fats. In fact, most of our caloric intake is related to medicating our brains. And by the way, these modern foods that medicate the brains, medicate our brains, grains and dairy and sugar, refined sugar, all of these are modern foods that entered into our culture a mere 10,000 years ago, and really in a big way, 50 to 100 years ago, which in the biological context of our million-year-old bodies might as well be a millisecond. For most of us, our bodies are just not designed to handle this kind of food abuse from grains, from dairy, from refined sugars, from foods that have entered into our cultural milieu in the last 50 to 100 years. Grain exorphins are very similar chemically to our own naturally produced endorphins. We make our own heroin, we make our own opiates, we make our own morphine-like substances, these endorphins, and the similarity between grain exorphins and our own brain endorphins is the reason why there's a lot of problems here. We self-medicate and we become addicted to the ex-orphans in grains because our brain is hardwired to respond to these things. If you're deficient in your own endorphin production, say because your pineal gland is calcifying, for example, these things are made in the pineal gland, if you find yourself addicted to endorphins, if you have a pineal gland problem, you may find yourself self-medicating. If you're self-medicating with grains and you can't stop eating the bread, eat more protein. Protein can stimulate the production of your own endorphins, which is a much better strategy than self-medicating and exposing yourself to the anti-nutrients in grains just to get that exorphin buzz. Exorphins interfere with the immune system. They make you more prone towards autoimmunity and immune system breakdown in general. There's a lot of literature that indicates that exorphins may be involved in suppressing our ability to fight cancer. Endorphins are made in the pineal gland, and we do a lot of things that suppress our pineal gland's activity. Our pineal gland's health is compromised by a lot of strategies that we use and a lot of strategies we're told to do by the medical model, including staying out of the sun. Fluoride is one of the biggest problems when it comes to pineal gland health. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Hi, John Hubner from Midas Resources. Are you tired of watching your hard-earned assets dwindle away? As government spending is out of hand and the Federal Reserve is creating in excess of $20 billion a week, are you tired of stockbrokers gambling away your hard-earned money? Is this market a setup for a crash greater than 1987? Too many of today's policies resemble those that led to the collapse of 1929. This is John Hubner, and that was me in 2007. 
And we all know what happened when the subprime credit bubble burst. By March 2009, the dollar lost 50% of its value. The entire U.S. banking system was on the verge of collapsing. Like all financial problems of the past, is history about to repeat itself? Call me, John Hubner, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 129, before it's too late to protect yourself. Will the oncoming catastrophe take all private IRAs, 401ks with it? There is a way to protect your hard-earned assets. Call me, John Hubner, at 1-800-686. 2237 extension 129. By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blockit Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Attention. Do you owe money to the IRS or have years of unfiled returns? Are you being audited or receiving threatening letters? If the answer is yes, you need help. The IRS can seize your property and assets, impose fines and penalties, garnish your wages, and even go after your bank account. Don't take on the IRS by yourself. Don't let the IRS destroy your life. Take action now. Call our team of experts for a free and confidential initial evaluation. We've helped thousands resolve their tax problems. Let us help you. 800-261-7073. 800-261-7073. There's a man named Dr. Joel Wallach, who is anything but your typical doctor, both a veterinarian and naturopathic physician. Doc asks, why does the United States spend more money on health care by far and still rank 50th in health and longevity worldwide? He believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, take charge of their health, and attain optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic prescription drugs that lead to side effects and more toxic prescription drugs. Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the big government, big pharma, and big insurance manipulation of our health care system. I'm George Norrie, and I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care. Visit brightsideben.com and listen to Doc Wallach's Deadly Recipes lecture. It makes a lot of sense, and I urge you to join the Brightside Ben team. Go to brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. You can prevent being the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and Fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. Faketv.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Welcome back to the Bright Side. 866-582-9933 is our number. Got a line open for you. If you're trying to get off of SSRI drugs, if you want to support brain health, if you want to support the serotonin aspect of brain health, eat more protein. Eat more carb or eat carbohydrates. 40% or so of your calories should come from carbohydrates. Stay away from grain carbohydrates. Stick to veggie carbohydrates and easy on the fruit. And be very, 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 very careful 
about exposing yourself to the most pineal gland toxic substance that we're exposed to on a regular basis, and that's fluoride. Don't drink tap water unless you have no options. Stick to distilled water. Stay away from soda and pop and reconstituted fruit juices, all of which can contain fluoride. SSRI drugs can contain fluoride. How ironic is it that SSRI drugs have a specifically damaging effect on the part of the brain that's responsible for serotonin production? Drugs that are, we're, we're actually prescribed drugs, we're taking drugs that are supposed to support serotonin, and these very same serotonin supporting substances have a negative effect, have a suppressing effect, have an inhibiting effect on the gland in the brain that produces the stuff that SSRIs are supposed to support. How ironic is that? The pineal gland, by the way, contains the highest concentrations of fluoride in the body. You could think of your pineal gland as a fluoride vacuum cleaner. The reason the pineal gland fluoridates so easily is because of the mineral iodine. If you look on the periodic table of elements, you're going to see iodine in the same uh, vertical row as fluorine and uh, bromine and chlorine. All of these are called halogens, and they're in the same area. They're located in the same row on the periodic table, and that means they're all similar. Halogens are found in halogen lights. Light bulbs, ordinary light bulbs, work by burning gas in a bulb, which is basically a, a big empty space filled with gas and electric wire. When you turn on the electricity, it runs through the wire and it burns the gas, which we then see as light in the bulb. It's like a mini sun, and it's like an atmosphere in there with a, a electrical energy burning gas. Ordinary light bulbs use nitrogen gas and argon gas, but halogen lights use iodine and bromine, which have some interesting properties. They're more substantial. Iodine is a more substantial substance substance than nitrogen and argon. So that means it's more solid, it's heavier. And that means that unlike nitrogen and argon, which tend to be more volatile and gaseous, iodine and bromine and the halogens will recycle themselves and last longer. This is why they're used in halogen light bulbs. The halogen light bulbs last longer. You have four main halogens. There's actually five, but for the most part, for, from a nutritional standpoint, there's four halogens. Fluorine, bromine, chlorine, and iodine. And there's only one that the body wants to use, and that's iodine, at least for thyroid hormone, and the pineal gland, and all glands. The body will make do if there's no iodine. It'll use bromine if it has to. It'll use fluorine if it has to, and that's a big problem. If the body doesn't have iodine, it's going to use fluorine. If the thyroid doesn't have iodine, it's going to use fluorine or bromine. But the good news is the body's not stupid, and as long as it has enough iodine, it's not going to use the fluorine or the bromine or the chlorine, and that's why you want to make sure you have enough iodine. Iodine is a great, great halogen detox. It's a wonderful fluorine detox. It's a wonderful bromine detox. And it's much better, in my humble opinion, to err on the side of extra iodine, especially if you're using colloidal iodine or iodorol. Eat kelp, eat seafood, all of which can contain iodine. Think ocean. When you think in iodine, think seaweed, think seafood, think ocean. Unlike the soils, the ocean is not depleted of minerals. It probably isn't going to be depleted of minerals for a long time. Organ meat is also high in iodine for the carnivores out there, especially liver and especially uh, the heart. Use iodorol, six, to, uh, 6 milligrams to 12 milligrams a day. It's an awesome, awesome nutritional supplement, and it's especially protective against breast cancer. All iodine is especially protective against reproductive cancer. In fact, all glands benefit from iodine. We hear about iodine for the thyroid gland, but iodine is key for pineal gland health. It's important for the pancreas. It's important for the adrenal glands. It's important for the prostate. It's important for the female reproductive glands, and it's important for the breast. So make sure you're getting your carbohydrates, but make sure you're getting your carbohydrates from vegetables. This is the most important strategy for, or one of the most important strategies for boosting your serotonin levels. You know, being a vegetarian might be a healthy kind of thing, 
to do, but there's some stuff in vegetarian foods that are problematic. Processed, very, uh, processed vegetarian foods are big, big problems, and there's a substance that you'll find in vegetables, especially in grains, that is really a big problem, and it's associated with a lot of health issues, including autoimmune diseases. We'll tell you what we mean tomorrow as we continue talking about ways to get off of SSRI drugs and ways to boost your serotonin system. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 866-582-9933 is our number. Time to go to the phones. Let's take our first call of the day and uh, talk to Robert in Oklahoma. Welcome to The Bright Side, Robert. What's going on? Uh, I think we got a bad connection there, Robert. Tell you what, uh, Robert, why don't you call us back and we'll get you up front first, okay? Hang up and call, give us a call back and uh, we'll put you to the front of the line. James in Georgia, what's up, buddy? What's up, and how are you doing today? Doing good. What's cooking? Um, I'm having some intermittent issues with um, some knots developing on the bottom of my feet, a um, little swelling. Okay. Um, the only thing I did a little... Re- I'm 35. How old are you, James? 35. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. We've done a little research online. Um, some of the symptoms seem to be along the same lines that I'm having with the, the disease called um, sarcoidosis. Okay, got it. Uh, I'm here's saying that correctly. Yeah, yes. Uh, osis, whenever you hear osis, as we said so many times in this program, whenever you hear osis, you're talking about inflammation. Now, it could be sarcoidosis, but it doesn't really matter. It matters that there's some kind of inflammatory process going on. This is your job. This is your homework, James. You've got to have some other symptoms. And this is very important. Whenever something's going wrong in the body, it's in your interest to find other symptoms so you can triangulate, so you can put together a picture. You want to find, ideally, you want to find at least two other symptoms to go with your third, to go with your original symptoms. You have three different uh, symptoms. And that way you can sort of put a a picture together of what's happening inside the body. With just one symptom, it's a little bit difficult. However, I will tell you, whenever you have any kind of inflammation, what you're looking at is the face of the immune system. The immune system, the body's defense system, shows up as inflammation. All right, that's step number one. That's the first thing. That's really the most important thing to understand about how you deal with any kind of inflammatory issue, any kind of inflammatory issue. That means autoimmune diseases, that means uh, sarcoidosis, that means uh, uh, fibroids, that means conjunctivitis, whatever kind of uh, itis you're dealing with, uh, you're dealing with some kind of inflammatory condition. Uh, So, uh, James? James? Yeah, I'm still here. James, do you have any other symptoms that you can think of? None that I can think of. The only thing that I have associated it with is it seems like when I get sick or cold or, or something and maybe the immune system's a little weak, they, they tend to pop up. And they haven't been happening for that long, but that's kind of what I've, the two things I've associated together. That's about the only thing. Anything, it would be super helpful if you could figure out something in the digestive system because then we could eliminate some foods and we could support the digestive, uh, we could support digestive health. Hang tight, buddy, okay? Uh, hang tight, James, and we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. 
Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, Now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com. And an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Normal blood pressure, naturally. How would that make you feel? I'm Don from New Mexico. January of 2000, I had a heart attack. Then my real health began going downhill, and I had uh, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, poor vision, and I really wasn't sleeping well. I was a mess, pretty much. Don reports dramatic improvements with heart and body extract. I started taking uh, heart and body extract, and from within a few days, I started sleeping a lot better. My blood pressure uh, normalized, my blood sugar normalized, and uh, my sleep really did improve. Experience these benefits and more when your body gets what it needs with the assistance of Heart and Body Extract. Order at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. That's hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. Folks, I did not expect this at all. By the 7th, 8th, and ninth day, I saw dramatic improvements from taking Heart and Body Extract. Details at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305 for Heart and Body Extract. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. We're talking to, uh, let's see, James in Georgia. Hey, James, you there? Yes, sir. James, okay, here's the deal. Sarcoidosis is an inflammatory issue, inflammatory health, uh, inflammatory problem. Whenever you see inflammation, you're looking at a defensive response. So far, so good. Does that make sense so far? Sure. Yes, sir. Okay, I want you to work. I'm going to work with you on this. Okay, I want you to work with me on this. Sarcoidosis, sarcoidosis is a, a generalized inflammatory condition. Uh, it, it means that the body is somehow the defense system of the body has somehow been activated. Now, whenever the defense system of the body is activated, the implication is something is getting into the body to turn on defenses. So, does that make sense so far? It does. Okay, so then the question becomes, what is getting into the body? Now, things get into the body through one of one of uh, through three routes 
of uh, three routes, three portals into the body. You've got the skin, you've got the nose, and you've got the mouth. Now, things don't get into the body through the skin very much because the skin is a, a, a covering and it's intact unless you have a burn or you have a scrape, in which case that can occur, uh, a cut of some kind. Then you can get stuff into the body. But unless you have, as long as your skin is intact, unless you have some kind of opening in there, pretty much nothing is going to get in through the skin. You, things can theoretically get in through the nose, but because the nose and the sinus cavities are, are so wide, Winding and they've got all these hairs and all these filtering systems, things do not really get into the body through the nose very much unless you're snorting it or, or actively sniffing it or, or there's a really high concentration of gas or something like that. So um, uh, unless you have some kind of rare thing going on, the skin and the nose are not going to be the places where things are getting into the body. Now, 80% of your body's defense system is located in this third portal. And this is the most likely suspect when you have any kind of defensive response. Now, that is going to be the mouth. That means the digestive system and the fact that the bulk of your immune system or your defense system is in the digestive tract. Whenever, and this is so important, James, and I'm not just saying this for you. I'm saying this for everybody listening. Whenever you have an inflammatory condition, you have a defensive response that is more than likely secondary to something you're eating. And I don't mean to be a food Nazi here, and I hate to sound like I'm just talking about the digestive tract all the time, but folks, nothing gets into the body, or for the most part, nothing gets into the body otherwise. So if you have a defensive response, you're more than likely looking at a digestive issue. Now, if you have hypothyroidism, if you have blood sugar problems, if you have a, a, a chronic adrenal activity from stress, that's all going to compromise things. That's all going to make things worse. But that's not the area that you want to focus on. Your doctor will focus on those areas, but the primal area and the place where you have the most control on any inflammatory issue, any inflammatory issue, whatever that is, is through the foods that we're eating. And by the way, almost all diseases are inflammatory diseases, which means that almost all health issues require some kind of digestive management. That means eliminating foods. That means eating better foods, and that means using digestive support supplements. So for you, James, the first thing I would be doing is track, uh, keeping track of your foods. And by the way, just because we don't think we have a digestive problem doesn't mean that we don't. Because as we said many times in this program, our brain tunes things out. Things that happen all the time get tuned out. Our brain only wants to know about things that happen as a surprise or happen in an unusual way. So just because we think we don't have any digestive issues doesn't mean we don't. But as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. So if you see smoke, chances are there's fire somewhere. If you see inflammation in a defensive response, chances are something is getting into your body through foods that you're eating, either through leaky gut syndrome or the wrong kind of foods that is causing this inflammatory response. Now, given the fact that 80 million Americans, at least 80 million Americans have digestive problems, that's one out of four, chances are pretty darn good, my friend, that you're dealing with some kind of digestive distress, and I would be keeping track of all the foods I ate, this is this is, would be my prescription for you. Uh, there's a few different things. Are we good so far, James? Is this making sense how I'm okay. talking to you? Okay, good. Yes, sir. All right. all right, so first of all, get yourself a little notebook, write down everything you eat, try to eat as simply as possible, and uh, write down next to where you put down what you ate, write down how you feel in terms of bowel movements, gas, bloating, uh, nausea, heartburn, any kind of digestive distress every two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, maybe up to 12 to 18 hours per food that you eat. Now, it'll be easier if you eat simple foods and if you eat less foods so you can kind of isolate what's going on. It's sort of like a detective game. It's just a, it's like a puzzle or a riddle. And then you're going to find certain, more than likely you're going to find certain foods that are problematic. Those are foods that need to be eliminated. Now, when the sarcoidosis, when the pain in your foot flares up, that's good news for you because that will make it easier to isolate a digestive trigger assuming there is one. So when you have a flare up, really start to pay attention to what you ate four, six, eight, 12 hours before, and that can be a major clue for you. Secondly, start to do digestive support nutrients. Probiotics are without a doubt the most important digestive nutrients. I love the Longevity Nightly Essence. They have a new one called Root Beer Belly that's also good. Make sure you're eating fermented foods, kefir, miso, tempeh, borscht, um, sauerkraut. Love sauerkraut. That's an awesome fermented food. Uh, pickles, anything that's fermented uh, will be 
in your digestive uh, digestive tracts interest. Use glutamine powder, wonderful supplement for the digestive tract, five grams a day. Zinc, 50 milligrams a day is also important for the digestive tract. Uh, essential fatty acids can be helpful. Make sure you're taking your essential fatty acids with digestive enzymes and don't forget about apple cider vinegar. Magnesium can have a relaxing effect on the inflammatory response, especially if you're drinking a lot of milk or getting a lot of calcium in some other way. So make sure you're getting around 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium. Use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Use liquid nutrients. One of the neatest advantages of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is it keeps you from snacking in the middle of the day. It's, why, it's the reason why people lose weight on the BTT is because as you're taking the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, your nutrient levels are going up and you don't feel as hungry in the middle of the day. Also, if you have digestive distress, the liquid format will allow you to get those nutrients in a much easier to absorb format. Always look at liquid soups, smoothies, juices, and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If you want, stay in touch with me, James. I'd love to work with you, but I'd like to hear what you find out, especially in terms of that, uh, in, ter in terms of that food diary. Okay, buddy? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I've already started this. I've been on the Tangy Tangerine for about a month now in the, e uh, the EFAs as well, and just nice. started some probiotics, but is it a pill form? Does it, would it be better for the liquid form? Uh, no, the pill form is better. The liquid form is actually technically better, but you never you don't get enough bacteria in the liquid form. Uh, so the pills are the best way to go. Go with the ca uh, capsules, I should say, are the best way to go. All right? Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, James. Good luck, man. Okay, uh, let's see. Another James. James in Texas. What's up, buddy? Neil, James? You talked about the pineal gland being sensitive to light. Yes. And I was wondering... I was wondering um, you know, during the summer months, uh, you know, I can uh, get some vitamin D therapy from the sun. But in the winter months, what do you do? Um, what kind of proto what kind of protocol should I be looking at in terms of sun exposure for pineal gland health? Well, lots of things you could do. First of all, you can look into the sun. You could do something called sun gazing, and that's very important um, or can be very helpful. Uh, secondly, you can use sun lamps. Uh, and by the way, you're in Texas, right? Yes. You can get you can get lots of sun in the wintertime in Texas. It won't be the same as the summertime sun. Um, summertime sun has is is uh, a different is at a different angle than wintertime sun, and it doesn't seem to be as effective. But you can still get a little bit of sun. I would use a sun lamp if you were really interested in pineal gland health, or if you were depressed. In fact, even if you're not, even if it's not wintertime and you have depression, using a sun lamp can be really really helpful. Uh, artificial sun. But if you're interested or you're concerned about wintertime sun, yeah, get yourself one of these uh, therapy lights they're called it's called light box therapy or uh, they have ones that are called sad therapy lights sad stands for seasonal affective disorder and that would be that could be something that you can use too but there's always going to be a little bit of sun even in the winter time especially in uh, the southern states in texas you're always going to get a little bit of sun but if you really really want to want to make sure that you're getting enough uh, uh, solar energy enough sun energy for your pineal gland get yourself one of these uh, uh, light box uh, one of these lights they call it light box therapy or sad therapy lights all right. Is it primarily through the eyes, or do you need to have skin exposure? Well, for the brain, it's primarily through the eyes. Through the skin, uh, you're still going to get some, some serotonin activity. Uh, the skin does contain serotonin-making cells. In fact, skin cells make serotonin. So you will actually get some serotonin boosting through sun, uh, sun contact in your skin. But for the pineal gland, you want to be looking at the sun. Do this tomorrow morning. Everybody listening, including you, James, tomorrow morning, first thing, when you get out of bed, head over to the window. And don't open your eyes if you can find the window without opening your eyes. Don't open your eyes until you get to the window. And then open your eyes first thing in the morning. Look right into the sun for a couple of seconds. Don't burn yourself or don't hurt your eyes, but maybe for three or four seconds. And you'll get a big boost of serotonin that is so uh, uh, so demonstrable that within seconds you're going to feel better just by looking into the sun. You'll feel more alert, more awake. Uh, it won't be quite like coffee, but you'll still notice a, a demonstrable effect just by looking in the sun first thing in the morning. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it, James. And thanks so much for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Appreciate all you guys. We're going to continue talking about serotonin and ways to boost serotonin tomorrow as I tell you about something that's in grains and in vegetables that you'd never hear anybody talking about but has a huge role to play when it comes to immune issues, autoimmune issues, and many inflammatory diseases. We'll tell you what that is tomorrow. Stay tuned for Alex Jones next on most of these stations. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.
Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-